Well, good morning, church. You're supposed to say good morning at home, even if you're at home, or you say good morning. Even the people here, they're looking at me like, blink, blink. Well, good morning, church. I want to just make sure before we get started here, you can hear your pastor. So if you hear your pastor speaking right now, I want to type, uh, type in the chat right there. Just say, I love my pastor, Brian. How many likes did I get? Wait for it. Anybody? No one can hear me? <laughs> Let's see. We're going we're gonna to check one thing real quick. All right. Well, thank you for loving your pastor. I appreciate that. So we're excited to be with you here today to come and uh, be together in this moment. No, uh, it's uh, just always, we've been doing this uh, for every Sunday is just have some words of the moment. Uh, and first of all, I just want to recognize that uh, it's a bright, beautiful day outside and it is windy. So if you sneeze, expect it to go like two blocks away, right? It's one of these days. But uh, as we're here today, it is uh, just a beautiful day and spring is in the air. You see all the flowers starting to kind of sprout up, all the you know, grass is starting to get tall and green and uh, all those wonderful things that uh, we associate with this time of the year. And allergies are coming for your, me, I know, and many for you. And uh, it will be some fun times ahead for that. Well, but as we're here today, it does occur to me that uh, many of you are probably starting to feel like Santa Claus because, uh, you know, we're here and we can't see you, but you see everything that we do. So, you know, you know when I'm preaching and you know when I'm sleeping and, uh, just don't come over to the house down my chimney. But anyways, if you ever wonder what Santa Claus feels like, you know that right now, and uh, you know how that is. But, uh, you know, again, we're mentoring into uh, another week of, of being separated from each other. Uh, it's pretty clear at this point that uh, we don't know how long this will be. Uh, originally, we had said the church would be closed until tomorrow. It's hard to feel like that feel like forever ago that we said that. Of course, we're going to have to be extending that in the days ahead. Really, at this point, uh, there's not a chance really to say when. Uh, I don't really even want to kind of throw out a date. You can just expect uh, the church door to be closed um, until we can kind of get through this. But uh, as we think about these days ahead, I do want to just remind us that uh, Holy Week is starting next week uh, with the passion of our Christ. And so as we're going to be celebrating uh, in a different way this year than we have in years past, I want to mention to you uh, this idea that we're going to do for next week. Uh, we had uh, Tim Bias, our district superintendent, going to come preach with us next week. Of course, uh, we had to change that a little bit. He is going to be uh, recording a sermon. And here's how we're going to do next Sunday. And if you're able to participate, we hope you do uh, and can do this. Uh, first of all, what I want you to do is this week at home, I want you to make your own palm branch. So get some scrap paper out, get some the things out, whatever you got to do to create your own palm branch. Uh, that's step one. Now, step two is we've ordered some palm branches, and we have some uh, ideas of how to get this out to a bunch of people in the congregation, and leave them at your doorsteps, and do all the good, uh, you know, six feet distance and all that, and sanitizing, all that good stuff. And our plan is to hopefully uh, deliver these to your doorsteps uh, for you to have as well. But just in case they don't get there or something happens, we want you to have something at home. And uh, the plan is is that, that next week, uh, what we're going to do is at the beginning of service, um, I want you to jump in your car. And you're going to drive past the church starting at 1030. I'm going to be out on the front yard uh, waving a palm branch or two. And uh, we'll probably have uh, some things going on as far as that. But I want you to, to drive past, honk your horn, and wave your palm branch out the window uh, and celebrate that, uh, that day to day. I want to have a little procession in that sense. So just drive past whenever you get here, honk your horn, wave some palm branches for our Lord. And then I want you to go home and I want you to get at your computer and Tim Bias uh, will have uploaded his sermon and we'll have uh, our worship through that day, uh, uh, through that time that is with him uh, during that time. So we'll be doing that. Uh, also be looking on the, uh, on the outlook that is for an email coming through, uh, figure out how we're going to do communion. Uh, we'll probably not do it next week, but we will do it for Easter. So uh, whatever materials you have at home, we'll be sending out an email and some direction on that, but whatever we can do. Uh, we'll be blessing those elements from, uh, the, uh, you know, on this end coming through live stream to you, and we'll be able to take communion together. I do want to mention to you that uh, as you're worshiping at home uh, here today, want to use this hashtag if you guys like hashtags. Uh, you know, it's, it's the thing to do nowadays. For those that don't know hashtag, where you been? But here's what it is. It's that little pound symbol on your phone. You, you know, you push that pound symbol and you type in a little phrase. And what it basically does is let, you know, wherever you post it, you you put that hashtag on there with that little phrase and it lets people just search it so that we can look up each other what's 
what's going on and just find it really easily uh, under different social media, on different websites, all those different things. So I want you to use this hashtag. Uh, it's hashtag GUMC at home. Uh, you can show us what you're doing for worship here today. Show us worshiping in your jammies, making a good breakfast, whatever you're doing. Uh, we want to see that here today. And even in the days ahead, be sure to use that. Even if you got to stay home next week and we can't get out, if things uh, you know progress and the governors and all of them really say, hey, nothing can go out and, and you stay home. We can't do our procession. I want you to uh, be able to take some pictures at home and, and celebrate together. Let's post those uh, wherever you can and on our website or uh, on our uh, Facebook, that is, all those different uh, avenues and uh, do that. So again, uh, hashtag GUMC at home. Looking forward to uh, going home today and seeing some of those pictures. I know uh, Courtney's sitting here shaking her head too. So, uh, but last thing I just want to mention is, uh, you know, it's scary times. I know for many of us, uh, I know, uh, you know, each and every day what the experts have told us is coming more and more true as far as uh, this truly is, you know, if you look at the map, it's, it's global now. This uh, virus has extended to many people, and uh, the ramp up that they've been warning us about has been happening. Um, and, and the good news is that some of the precaution measures that we've been taking, uh, they're seeing at least some data that says that we're making a difference. But at the same time, uh, we know uh, that their experts are telling us there's going to be some hard days ahead. And so as we're here today, we want to recognize that, and we're not glossing over that at all. But we are finding hope in our Christ and our risen Lord and Savior. So we do take time today to, to recognize those feelings of angst, those feelings of anxiety, but we take more time to cling to our Lord and God and our Savior, to be his people and to be in his presence. No matter whatever the days have for us ahead, we know that we're in God's presence, whether we're at home or even coming outside, if you're going on a walk or something later today, or even uh, if you're here at the church uh, with the three of us, you know, uh, we know God's presence is with us wherever we are. He is the God that can be with us. So uh, know that we'll be worshiping here today. And if you feel uh, that anxiety and angst, uh, my prayer for you today is to feel a sense of peace and that God's Holy Spirit would bless you uh, during this hour and this service. We're going to now uh, prepare our hearts and minds for worship. 